historical mysteries are often hidden right under our feet, both in the caches of the underground world and above it. Every year, archaeologists around the world make astonishing discoveries that rewrite history and astound the scientific community. Welcome to the Top Facts Black Channel. In this hour-long special edition, we've gathered exclusive materials for you about the most amazing archaeological finds of recent times, which have made scientists look at history in a new way. Before we start, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, let's go. The Two Arcs is a project to create an emergency bunker in Canada, which was constructed from 42 school buses filled with concrete and buried under four meters of earth. This bunker can accommodate up to 350 people and is equipped with all necessary survival systems, including a generator, telephone communication, sewage, and medical equipment. An engineer named Bruce Beach spent over 20 years creating this bunker and invested all his savings into it. He created comfortable sleeping, relaxation, and children's play areas to provide people with comfortable conditions in case of catastrophic events. Furthermore, Bruce Beach continues to maintain all installed systems and upgrade equipment to be prepared for any possible emergency in the future. Among us, ordinary people, encounters with something mysterious, unexplainable and incredible often occur. One such case happened in Canada when an ordinary guy captured an unbelievable creature that made his heart skip a beat. Canada's forests are known to be rich in various inhabitants, but what he found was entirely different. An incredible creature resembling something from another world seemed to be staring at him right from the photograph. Some people believe that such things can only happen in movies, but that's not the case. Is it a monkey that ran out onto the road from the depths of the forest, or is it a creature from another galaxy accidentally appearing in our reality? Opinions vary, but one thing we know for sure is that this unusual and magical creature has captured the hearts of many mystery and paranormal enthusiasts. Each of us has probably visited a fast food restaurant like McDonald's because they are popular and available almost everywhere. For people, this restaurant is associated with fast, affordable, and delicious food. But who would have thought that there is a McDonald's on the water? This unusual restaurant was built at an exhibition in Vancouver and had a stylish interior, with employees dressed in maritime uniforms. The place was very popular during the exhibition, and it was planned for the floating restaurant to continue operating after its conclusion. However, for unknown reasons, this never happened. McDonald's on the water stood on the waterfront for several years and was then moved to a less populated part of the city. Since then, it has stood abandoned and rusted, forgotten for several decades. Smoking mountains may sound unusual and even mysterious, but it's a quite common phenomenon in Canada. The smoke rising from the mountains resembles a campfire, creating an extraordinary atmosphere. This phenomenon is called spontaneous combustion of lignite or legni. The reason for this lies in the fact that these mountains contain large deposits of lignite, rich in sulfur, and can spontaneously ignite as soon as mineral veins and hills are exposed to air. It's crucial not to touch these rocks because they can easily burn even solid objects. Scientists believe that the smoking hills in Canada have been burning for centuries and will continue to burn for many more years. This phenomenon creates an impression of some mysterious and eternal life of the mountains, attracting people's attention, arousing their interest and admiration. The next discovery occurred in 2011. A group of miners in the province of Alberta found something amazing, the mummified body of a dinosaur. It was a specimen of a small dinosaur that lived approximately 110 million years ago. When the miners found the body, they immediately realized that it was an extraordinary find. They were amazed at how well preserved the dinosaur's body was. It was entirely preserved because it was covered by a layer of mud and a mixture that preserved the tissues of the body in good condition. The miners immediately reported this to their superiors who made the decision to hand the discovery over to scientists. To this day, extensive research is being conducted to learn more about the life of dinosaurs and their evolution. Meet Klitsuk, a lake that stands out from the crowd with its unique appearance. Spotted and mysterious, it is located near the city of Osui in Canada. Local Native Americans call it this due to its unique appearance, where each spot is painted in different colors. From green to gray and brown, this place is worth seeing with your own eyes. 
However, the lake only appears for a few months a year and is fed by underground waters and melting snow. In the summer, when the air becomes dry and hot, the water evaporates and forms small islands of various colors on the surface of the lake, depending on the mineral content in the water. Alas, there are no underwater inhabitants in Klitsuk, but there are some microorganisms, which is also very interesting. Many compare this place to ancient lakes on Mars, and it really is. Far from the hustle and bustle of the city, in the midst of the snow-covered forests of Canada, lies an obscure ice hotel. It was discovered accidentally by travelers wandering through snowy paths, seeking shelter from the piercing wind. As they approached the frozen building, they were overwhelmed with an indescribable feeling of ecstasy and awe. The hotel, built from snow, seemed to have grown right out of the ground, and every detail in its architecture testifies to the unique craftsmanship. The sparkle of ice and snow covering the walls and ceilings creates the feeling of being in a fairy tale castle. Inside the hotel are ice sculptures, executed with amazing precision and attention to detail. And every evening, as the sun sets over the horizon, the icy corridors are filled with a soft glow studded with stars. The next equally amazing discovery of our journey is the celestial spectacle known as the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. Deep in the Canadian wilderness, where the night sky is unclouded by the distorting light of cities, one can witness this magical dance of light. Green, blue, and violet waves slowly move across the sky, reminding us of the incomprehensible beauty of nature and space. The dazzling spectacle of the Northern Lights captivates the imagination and delights with its enchanting beauty. The secrets of this natural phenomenon are not yet fully uncovered, and watching the Aurora Borealis is an opportunity to glimpse one of the most mysterious wonders of the world. Who would have thought that on such a distant outskirts of civilization, one could encounter such an amazing phenomenon, as if descended from the paintings of fantasy artists? The next amazing discovery is the Canadian frozen frogs that can resurrect after freezing. These unique animals live in the cold regions of Canada, where temperatures can drop to extremely low levels. During the winter, the frogs freeze, and their hearts stop beating. But as soon as spring comes, they come back to life, and their hearts start beating again. This is a true miracle of nature, demonstrating the incredible survivability and adaptability of living creatures. In further research, scientists have established that the unique ability of Canadian frogs to revive after freezing is related to their physiology. During the freezing process, a special antifreeze forms in the frog cells, preventing cell destruction and allowing the frogs to come back to life after thawing. The mystery of our journey is the mysterious white berry known as doll's eyes. These rare and little known berries grow only in certain corners of Canada, where they are hidden among lush vegetation. Their name comes from their unique appearance. White berries with bright blue veins resemble the eyes of antique dolls. Doll's eyes are not only beautiful, but also beneficial. People who have tasted these berries claim that they have healing properties and can strengthen the immune system. However, the secrets of doll's eyes are still not fully uncovered, and many scientists continue to study their properties to understand how such unique flora could survive and develop in the harsh conditions of the Canadian wilderness. Traveling through the expanses of Canada, you may encounter the mysterious forest of signposts. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary forest, but upon closer inspection, you will notice hundreds, if not thousands, of signposts tied to trees. Each signpost contains an arrow and an inscription indicating a particular attraction, city, or even a private estate. No one knows exactly who placed all these signposts, but they have turned the forest into a kind of open-air museum. Many travelers come here to contribute to the creation of this unique work of art, adding their signposts and expanding the boundaries of the forest. Another amazing discovery is a prison for polar bears, located in northern Canada. This unusual place was created for the temporary containment of bears that pose a threat to the local population or were found near populated areas. The purpose of this facility is to ensure the safety of residents and preserve the lives of the bears. Polar bears are placed in special enclosures where they are studied by researchers and veterinarians. After a certain period, when the bears adapt to the wild, 
they are released back into their natural habitat. This process helps maintain balance in nature and reduces conflicts between humans and wildlife. The lion's yawn is a remarkable plant that is rarely found in nature, but was once discovered in Canada. This plant species captivates with its bright and unique appearance. The lion's yawn flowers have velvety petals and a bright orange color with dark spots resembling a yawning lion. The seed pods of this plant, which form after flowering, exhibit a fascinating and interesting phenomenon. They bend and twist, creating unique shapes and patterns. Their unusual form and ability to stand out among other plants make them a true work of natural art. In April 2014, residents of a small Canadian town were shocked by the discovery of a massive blue whale carcass washed ashore. The blue whale is the largest creature on Earth and its habitat is usually confined to open oceans. Therefore, this discovery became a sensational event for the local residents and the world at large. The whale carcass measured over 25 meters in length and weighed close to 100 tons. Scientists and rescuers quickly arrived at the scene to study the reasons for the death of this giant mammal and ensure the safety of the local population. After thorough investigation, it was determined that the whale likely perished due to a collision with a vessel or entanglement in fishing nets. Subsequently, the whale carcass was carefully dissected and disposed of while its bones were preserved for research and possible use in scientific and educational purposes. Unusual methane bubbles erupting from the depths of Abraham Lake have been discovered. Why is this important? Because methane is a gas that poses one of the main threats to global warming and climate change. Due to environmental changes and rising air temperatures, methane, which was once frozen in ice and soil, is now being released into the atmosphere. Seeing methane bubbles in Abraham Lake reminds us that our planet is changing and we must do everything possible to prevent even more serious consequences. The sunken ship on Cove Island in Canada became a sensation among researchers and enthusiasts of maritime mysteries. It was discovered by local divers when they decided to explore the ocean floor in this area. The ship, which preliminary data suggests dates back to the 18th century, was a mysteriously sunken vessel with no mentions in historical documents. The discovery of the ship has been a significant breakthrough and now scientists are trying to piece together its history and uncover the secrets it holds within its depths. In the province of Alberta, Canada, archaeologists made a unique discovery, one of the most complete and well-preserved dinosaur skeletons dating back approximately 76 million years. It was found by chance during excavation work. The skeleton belongs to one of the species of carnivorous dinosaurs and consists of more than 90% of all the bones allowing scientists to reconstruct the image of this ancient giant with incredible accuracy. This discovery sheds light on many aspects of dinosaur life and contributes to the field of paleontology. A Canadian fisherman made a unique discovery, a 10-meter long sturgeon caught during a fishing expedition. This gigantic sturgeon sparked immense interest among scientists and conservationists as its size far exceeded the typical parameters of sturgeons. The fisherman who caught this giant decided to release it back into the water after taking a few photographs to share his amazing find with the world. In Canada, miners accidentally unearthed the remains of a 60 year old wolf puppy in exceptional preservation. Scientists conducted a series of studies and analyses which revealed that the puppy belongs to an ancient wolf species that went extinct many thousands of years ago. Studying this discovery provided new insights into the diet, lifestyle, and habitats of ancient wolves, as well as made a significant contribution to the understanding of the evolutionary history of modern wolf species. In a remote part of British Columbia, there is a place called Sarlacc Pit, a giant crater that is a natural phenomenon. This geological feature was formed thousands of years ago due to erosion and tectonic movement. Sarlacc Pit has a depth of over 100 meters and a diameter of about 300 meters. Local residents consider this pit a sacred place and believe it possesses magical properties. Sarlacc Pit attracts tourists from around the world with its unique shape and mystical atmosphere. An abandoned sanatorium in Canada was once a place of rest and treatment for many people, but now stands deserted and forgotten. 
The sanatorium building was constructed in the early 20th century and is an example of architecture from that time. Inside the building, you can find antique furniture and household items that tell the story of people's lives in the past. Over time, nature began to reclaim its rights, and the sanatorium building gradually becomes part of the surrounding forest. This place attracts enthusiasts of mysticism as well as those seeking inspiration in historic architecture and the atmosphere of the past. In the Quebec desert in Canada, a collection of mysterious stone structures was discovered, the origin of which is shrouded in mystery. These ancient structures were found by a group of adventurers who were exploring the region in search of adventure. Scientists and historians are still trying to determine who built these structures and for what purpose. They may have been used as ritual sites or observation points by ancient tribes. However, many believe that they may be connected to a highly developed civilization that we have yet to learn about. In Canada, there is an amazing geological formation known as the Red Rock. It is composed of sandstone and iron oxide, giving it a bright red color. This geological phenomenon attracts the attention of scientists and tourists from around the world who are eager to uncover the mystery of its origin. Some scientists believe that red rock may have formed through natural processes such as erosion and oxidation, while others speculate that it may be related to ancient cults or extraterrestrial intervention. In the forests of Canada, a lost plane from 1945 during World War II was discovered. This forgotten piece of history was found by a group of tourists who got lost in the wilderness. The plane turned out to be in remarkably good condition, allowing researchers to reconstruct its history and learn about the fate of the crew. The discovery has become the subject of numerous studies and documentary films that depict the harsh realities of wartime and the value of preserving the memory of those times. The city of Frank in Canada became the site of a tragic disaster in the early 20th century when a mountain above the city collapsed, causing a massive landslide that crushed a large part of the settlement. Thousands of residents were buried under tons of soil and rocks, and the destroyed city became a symbol of the power and unpredictability of natural disasters. Since then, Frank has been known as the Crushed City and attracts the attention of historians, geologists, and tourists who want to learn about this tragic history. Local authorities and volunteers carefully preserve the historical memory of the event by organizing tours and lectures that recount the life of Frank's residents before and after the catastrophe. The remnants of the destroyed buildings and structures serve as a reminder of the consequences of nature's fury and the importance of caring for our planet and the environment. Not all bone structures are the same, but they certainly aren't supposed to be this different. These elongated skulls, stored in the Bavarian archaeological collection, have left some researchers questioning their origins. There's a theory about where they might have come from. Although they appear more extraterrestrial, DNA analysis taken from the bones revealed that they were entirely human women, most likely high-ranking brides brought through contracts from Bulgaria and Romania. These women were intentionally used as wives for political alliances and territorial disputes. The bones date back to the 5th century AD and were found alongside similar skulls in medieval Europe and Asia. This practice was even popular among men in various cultures from Central Asia to different parts of Europe and Romania, not just high-ranking women. But if there's one positive aspect to this type of practice, it's definitely that we no longer do it today. Most tombs have burials for the rich and elite, as well as respected warriors, but this Russian crypt seems unusual as it belongs to both a wealthy individual and a warrior simultaneously. This ancient warrior from a noble family was discovered in a 15th century tomb along with his wife and three children. Experts believe there is reason to suspect they fell victim to the plague or were possibly killed by nomadic tribes. The team that found the remains in Phanagoria comes from the Institute of Archaeology of the Russian Academy of Sciences. The man's remains were found next to riding stirrups and spurs, as well as a belt for his sword, so he was likely a respected member of the colonial army. The burial site itself, about five meters deep, also contained numerous treasures indicating the wealth and nobility of the family. 
there are many more tombs to be explored if scientists want to uncover as much history as possible, but it will take a lot more time. This hairy sea monster is drawing attention because it's practically impossible to identify. It's only known that it's incredibly foul-smelling and was washed ashore on the Bering Sea on the Pacific side of the Kamchatka Peninsula. According to the woman who found it, the size of this creature is three times larger than the average human. It's difficult to determine its top from bottom as it lacks noticeable features like eyes or a head. The body is covered in some white and gray hair-like substance. The woman stated that the creature's fur is quite unusual and she was quoted as being most intrigued by its tubular fur. Whether this could be some ancient creature, she doesn't know, but she would like scientists to study this mystery that the sea has given us. Russian scientists seem to be making significant discoveries in the frozen wastelands. Many creatures and objects have been frozen for a long time, which means that most of them have remained almost intact for study. This specific discovery included an amazingly well-preserved set of bones from an adult mammoth. The creature roamed this land about 10,000 years ago, but now we can learn more about it. Its remains were found in a small part of a Siberian lake. Among the parts found were a section of the animal's skull, as well as some ribs and four leg bones, to which a small portion of soft tissue still adhered. Researchers say it's unusual to find so many parts still so close to each other, especially after so much time has passed. However, global warming may be the reason that such discoveries have become possible. Due to unusually warm temperatures in recent years, much of the previously unfrozen permafrost has started to thaw. While this may lead to uncertainty in our own future, it's certainly been a blessing for uncovering the past. Scientists are still exploring this region in search of other bones and fossils. There is still much to learn about the remains found so far. The only thing worse than an approaching tornado is undoubtedly this extraordinary and even more terrifying version consisting entirely of a whirlwind of mosquitoes. Why does nature even allow such a disaster to exist? Furthermore, local residents of this area claim that these mosquito tornadoes are just an annual problem that occurs every year on the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. It's like a biblical plague of locusts colliding. One of the people who managed to capture this apocalyptic event said that he couldn't see how high most of these creatures rose. It seemed to him that most of them rose and passed through the clouds. Swarms flew into each other and created these ominous towers that appeared and dissipated in just a few moments. These tornadoes are actually a rare instance where the male mosquito seeks to take a mate. All the males gather together and the females must fly into the swarm and choose one male to leave with. It's quite astonishing and perhaps even a bit romantic, but why do we have to witness such a nightmarish sight? I hope you've never had to encounter a ground subsidence in real life because it's simply terrifying. If you're not aware, ground subsidence is defined as a depression in the ground with no natural surface drainage. This essentially means that when a large amount of water is absorbed by the soil and there's no support to keep the soft ground firm, the surface simply collapses due to the lack of a foundation. Then, it all just sinks into a new hole. One major incident occurred in the Russian village of Delalovo, near the city of Tula. A similar catastrophic incident happened above the Alkali Salem Khan potassium mines. These major events seem to be occurring more frequently over the past 30 years in the Perm Krai region of Russia. Is it a coincidence that most of them happen in the same places as many mines? Most likely not. Almost all major ground subsidence incidents have been in areas where abandoned mine shafts were located just a few hundred feet below. One of the earliest incidents occurred in the Betazniki potassium mine. Several hundred minor earthquakes led to the destruction of underground tunnel systems, and in 2010, a railway car even fell into the newly formed pit. To date, there has only been destruction and approximately 12,000 residents were forced to relocate to safer areas where buildings still stood above ground. Russia holds many secrets in its vast expanses, but one of the lesser-known historical treasures is the abandoned island fortresses. Many of them stood for centuries, 
guarding the nation against maritime enemies, but today they serve more as tourist attractions and windows into a recent past that's almost forgotten. Some of these fortresses were subsequently used for military and scientific research. Before being abandoned, the Alexander Fortress near St. Petersburg was used as a research center to study the plague. It barely functioned as a military base, so it shifted its focus to the study of deadly viruses such as cholera and the plague. Fortunately, its remote location prevented the spread of diseases beyond the island. Unfortunately, all the scientists contracted various diseases they were studying. Today, it seems there are no official events on the island, and there are many illegal rave concerts. Among many other fortresses, there are similar stories of military victories, scientific research, or simply testing military equipment. Not all facilities are open to the public, but those that are accessible can offer good insights into what was once supposed to be much larger. Once upon a time, something appeared on the shore that frightened the locals, making them believe that sea monsters were rising from the depths of the ocean. The size and shape of the creature definitely raised concerns and didn't resemble any ordinary fish you'd expect to see on the shore. After being taken for analysis, initial tests showed that the skeleton didn't belong to any type of fish, alligators or crocodiles. Of course, such details only added to the discussions and chaos as the public demanded protection and information about the mysterious sea creature. One theory suggested it was a previously unknown ancient underwater creature. Original photos were taken by passing soldiers in 2006, but the results regarding the nature of the creature became known only eight years later. As it turned out, according to marine specialists, the bones belonged to a large beluga whale. Technically, whales are not fish for several reasons, and since the initial research agreed with this conclusion, it makes sense to consider it a whale. The skull was the most defining feature, given that belugas are known for their oddly shaped foreheads. Everything else also matched the correct description, so it's more of an unusual spectacle than an unprecedented discovery. And this is one of the mysterious places that few people want to visit among the many uninhabited Arctic islands of the archipelago. The reason people associate this place with gods is the practically immovable giant stone spheres scattered along the shore. It looks like a soccer field for giants. However, not all the spheres are huge. Some of them are even smaller than table tennis balls. To this day, it's not determined how these stone spheres appeared on the island. Since no one lives there now, it's logical that they must have been somehow brought there. But without people or records for many miles around, the answers simply won't appear on their own. One of the main theories is that these stones are a type of concretion. This means they could be naturally formed masses of minerals that formed due to cementing sedimentary material carried by water and interacting with something organic, like grass or leaves. A chemical reaction formed several layers of stone that appear to us as perfect spheres. It's hard to believe that such perfect shapes are entirely random, but they have been found in other countries around the world, and many archaeologists have excavated them hoping to find previously undiscovered fossils. Nevertheless, it's cool to imagine that gods once played games here. In Egypt and some parts of South America, ancient pyramids were built as ultimate tombs for the powerful and elite. But in Russia, many tombs are made entirely of giant stones. These stone structures are called dolmens and essentially serve as megalithic tombs. There are at least 3,000 of them on the slopes of the Caucasus Mountains in Russia. Surprisingly, only about 6% of them have been explored, though there are plans to continue researching these ancient graves later on. Local residents call these megaliths houses of the dead in their language. They date back roughly between two to 3,000 years BCE and were used at different stages of culture, but over time, they served as burial tombs and were later reimagined for other purposes. Most, if not all of them, have long been looted, and some of the stone huts were used as explosive chambers after World War II. In practice, dolmens are simple constructions. They were built from sandstone and limestone, which were easily cut into suitable shapes. The greatest efforts were put into transporting heavy slabs that served as the base or roof of the tomb. 
Evidence in the form of bronze chisels and other tools allows us to trace their origin, giving us an idea of how ancient cultures in this region built things. Dolmens are almost always located on flat plateaus, sometimes on their sunny sides and sometimes on hilltops. They are often oriented for astronomical and cultic purposes. At the very least, today we can appreciate them for their fine craftsmanship. The first artifact that was discovered is the head of a mummy princess found in the eternal permafrost in the 12th century. It was a real shock for archaeologists because no one expected to find such a valuable artifact in such a well-preserved state. The mummy's head became a unique discovery that allowed the study of the history of ancient civilizations. The mummy's head shows that women in those times played an important role in society and held high social status. The second discovery was the remains of a young foal found in Zrenba. This place is located in Siberia and is home to a rare species of horses, Equus lenensis. The found foal remains were incredibly well preserved because they were frozen in the ice for over 40,000 years. This discovery provided scientists with valuable information about the life and behavior of ancient horses that lived in Siberia during the Ice Age. Studying these remains allowed scientists to better understand how these horses survived in harsh climatic conditions and how they influenced the lives of ancient people who used horses for various purposes, including hunting and transportation. The forest rangers, who care for the natural wealth in the Himalayan mountains, discovered a small cave filled with piles of human bones. In this area, inhabited by various tribes, these bones could be associated with religious rituals, cult practices, or military conflicts. Scientists who studied the remains suggest that they belong to a period when the inhabitants of these mountains had to fight for survival in conditions where natural resources were very limited. What do you think? How old are these bones? Share your opinion in the comments, and let's move on. Recently, scientists found a frozen cave lion that had been lying on the ice for over 28,000 years. This was a remarkable discovery because such finds are rare. This lion is in excellent condition and has all its organs intact, giving scientists a unique opportunity to study them and gather new data about the lives of cave lions. It is likely that the cub was crushed by an avalanche, which is why its body is so well preserved. Scientists are conducting numerous tests and analyses to study this frozen cave lion and gain additional insights into how it lived and what it ate. This discovery will help us better understand how animals adapted to the conditions of the Ice Age and how they could survive in such extreme circumstances. Frozen remains of a mammoth discovered on Likov Island. This island is located in the Arctic Ocean and was once connected to Asia by an ice bridge. During an expedition in 2010, several parts of a frozen mammoth body were found, which had been preserved in the ice for over 20,000 years. They were well preserved thanks to the icy shell that protected the body from decomposition. Scientists conducted extensive work to extract the remains from the ice and send them for analysis. Surprisingly, some of the mammoth's organs, including the brain, were found inside the discovered remains. The carcass of an Ice Age bird found near the village of Beriar in 2018. This event occurred quite recently and has already caused a lot of excitement in the scientific community. The carcass was found in excellent preservation due to its burial in the ice. One of the remarkable features of this discovery was that the bird was found in its natural environment. This allowed scientists to study the environment and determine the conditions typical of that period. The bird's carcass was examined using modern scientific methods, including genetic analysis, which revealed that it was a new and previously unknown species of bird. An alligator is a large reptile that inhabits the southern states of the United States, particularly in North Carolina. Typically, alligators are found in water and feed on fish and small animals. However, this time the animal was found frozen in ice. This was so unusual that it caught the attention of local residents and became the focus of media interest. Alligators usually cannot tolerate cold and lose their ability to move when the water temperature drops below 20 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the fact that an alligator froze on the beach in the summer is something incredible and unbelievable. Ice sculptures on the coastline of Alaska are unique formations created naturally. They formed due to the accumulation of ice, minerals, and salts over many years, as well as the influence of temperature, wind, 
and other factors. They come in various shapes and sizes. Some of them resemble people or animals, while others are abstract sculptures. Moreover, some of these sculptures have such finely crafted details that it is truly incredible. When scientists began to study these ice sculptures, they discovered traces of animals and vegetation on them, indicating that these sculptures were created thousands of years ago when the area was in the grip of the Ice Age. It is important to note that the Ice Age ended around 10,000 years ago, so these ice sculptures are indeed unique relics of ancient times. Scientists have discovered a plant in Antarctica that has the ability to come back to life after millennia of freezing. It is called the zombie plant because it literally resurrects from the dead. Scientists found it several meters below the ice surface and were able to extract it and give it the opportunity to revive once again. As it turns out, this plant was frozen over 30,000 years ago. To their surprise, scientists found that it was still alive and could recover after thawing. How is this possible, you may ask? In fact, it is related to the fact that the plant contains special substances that protect its cells from destruction at low temperatures. These substances also help it restore its functions after thawing. Norwegian archaeologists discovered ancient skis in a glacier that had been frozen there for over 1,300 years. They were in excellent condition, as if they had been used just yesterday. Archaeologists learned that these skis were used during the Viking period and are among the oldest ever found in Norway. But how did these skis manage to survive for over 1,300 years? The answer to this question is related to the fact that they were well protected from external influences while in the glacier. Also, the layer of ice on them helped preserve their shape and prevent material decay. Despite their ancient age, they were in excellent condition and appeared quite suitable for use. This allowed archaeologists to conduct an experiment and try using these skis in a real skiing competition to understand how ski manufacturing technology has changed over the centuries. Imagine you are on an Antarctic expedition, far from civilization, and suddenly you find a frozen notebook that has been here for over a hundred years. Captain Robert Scott led this expedition in the early last century, and the notebook was found only a few years ago. But this is not just a notebook. It is a real treasure that has helped us better understand the lives and hardships of people who lived and worked in such harsh conditions. The notebook contains records of Robert Scott and his team during the expedition, as well as drawings and photographs of what they saw. They describe severe cold, bad weather, hunger and fatigue, but also the joy of what they were able to achieve. This find is a true time capsule that helps us learn more about the history of our world. In Siberia, researchers found the remains of a puppy that was only a few months old at the time of its death. However, this was not just any animal. This was a puppy that lived on Earth over 18,000 years ago, during the last Ice Age. It was frozen in mud covered with snow and ice. At first, it was thought to be just old bones, but upon closer inspection, it was discovered to be the remains of a small puppy. How did it end up in this mud? And why have its remains been preserved in such good condition for so many years? These questions remain a mystery, but we know that this discovery has changed our understanding of life in ancient times. In the distant year 1914, when the famous English explorer Ernest Shackleton embarked on his third expedition to Antarctica aboard the ship Endurance, something terrible happened. The journey ended in disaster when the ship became trapped in the ice and was destroyed in 1915. Shackleton and his crew were forced to fight for survival in extremely harsh conditions. They survived for 105 days on the ice before leaving their shelter and embarking on a perilous journey to safety. More than 100 years later, in 2021, a team of scientific researchers discovered the remains of the endurance on the seabed. They found the wrecked ship and a series of items left behind by Shackleton's team that had remained preserved on the seabed, protected from the destructive influence of time. Another remarkable discovery was made by Stoker John Torrington, who worked on a trading ship in 1920 that traversed the South Pole. During the expedition, he discovered that the snow beneath his feet was emitting a bright blue light. He was fascinated by this phenomenon and decided to investigate it. After several weeks of research, 
Torrington and his team determined that the glowing snow was caused by the presence of a large quantity of Antarctic ice crystals containing light reflecting particles. New materials were developed based on Antarctic ice crystals and are now used in aviation, medicine, and other fields. So, human limbs, or rather their traces, have been found. It's time to discover something related to animals. For example, there's the story of the Mount Owen claw discovery. It was a giant dinosaur-like claw still covered with flesh and scaly skin. The claw was so well preserved that it seemed to belong to a recently deceased animal leading the archaeological team to extract the claw and immediately take it for analysis. The result was astounding. The mysterious claw turned out to be ancient remains of a giant moa, a large prehistoric bird that went extinct several centuries ago. Divers discovered clothing in the melting glaciers of Switzerland, which are currently under threat due to climate change. The clothing belonged to the Horgen culture, which lived in the territory of modern-day Switzerland and Liechtenstein more than 5,000 years ago. The Horgen culture is considered one of the most enigmatic and least studied ancient cultures of Europe. And the discovery of this clothing has become a valuable source of information for researching its traditions, customs, and life in the past. The clothing was in incredibly good condition because it had been encased in glaciers for many years, preserving many details and elements of the original design and construction. Yucca the mammoth was found in Siberia in 2010 by a group of local hunters who discovered his body in the Yakutia tundra. Scientists believe that Yucca was killed around 39,000 years ago when he was only 20 years old. His body was frozen in the ice for many thousands of years, which allowed it to be remarkably well preserved. Thanks to this, scientists were able to obtain unique information about this ancient mammoth. For example, scientists were able to study Yucca's brain cortex which gave them insight into how the brains of these animals functioned and how they perceived the world around them. Additionally, scientists also analyzed the composition of yucca's tissues and bones, providing them with a better understanding of the substances and elements necessary for the survival of mammoths. In 2018, a group of researchers discovered frozen bears and their cubs in Yakutia, northeastern Russia. The find was truly astonishing, as the bears turned out to be frozen for over 40,000 years. One of the frozen bears was a female, and the other was her cub. Scientists were able to study their morphology, anatomy, and genetic material. They also determined that these were ancient bears that went extinct around 15,000 years ago. The bears were so well preserved that scientists could even see their whiskers and claws. A frozen mammoth tusk was found in 2014 in Yakutia, Siberia. This discovery was remarkably well preserved, allowing scientists to study its structure and chemical composition. The tusk had been frozen in ice for about 10,000 years. Researchers found that the mammoth tusk was a vital tool for these animals, as they used it for protection against predators and in competition with others. Mammoth tusks were also used for foraging and various ritual purposes. The next astonishing discovery took place in South Africa. Australian archaeologists found the frozen skull of a distant human ancestor, estimated to be approximately two million years old. According to experts, these individuals had small brains and large teeth. The fossilized hominid skull was nearly complete. What do you think such a discovery could help with, if at all? Few people know, but beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, lies an incredibly beautiful and mysterious world. Many scientific expeditions venture into this region to explore the living and lifeless world beneath the ice. One such expedition recently returned with a stunning discovery. Scientists found a massive cave at a depth of 1,700 feet below the surface of the Earth. When the researchers lowered their camera into the icy tunnel, they couldn't even imagine the breathtaking sight of thousands of tiny particles hidden in the depths. The water surrounding them was so transparent that it seemed as if they were floating in the air. But suddenly, strange screens appeared on the video image, hiding part of the beauty underwater. Initially, the team thought that the equipment had malfunctioned, but after a more careful examination, they realized that an entire army of tiny crustaceans known as amphipods was hiding in their camera's lens. No one expected to see anything like this in Antarctica. This waterfall seems otherworldly, 
Its water is red, like blood. It flows from a height of over 100 meters and collects in a lake, coloring it bright red. Some scientists speculated that the color of the water was due to the presence of a large amount of iron in the water, but research showed that this was not the case. The water contains many microorganisms that thrive in extreme conditions and have red pigmentation. What do you think is really flowing from the base of the mountain? Share your opinion in the comments and let's move on. Bones dating back two centuries were found on Yamana Beach at Cape Sharif. But that's not the most amazing part. Their origin remains a mystery for now. Only fragments of the skeleton were found, so it's impossible to determine the species of the animal. However, we can speculate that it was a large mammal that lived here long before us. Some suggest it might have been a large marine mammal that once inhabited these waters. However, there are no precise conclusions yet. Despite this, the discovery of these bones has become a significant finding and may help decipher the history of animals that lived here many years ago. However, this was not the first mystery associated with Antarctica. Back in 1870, on the ice cap of Greenland, mysterious ice holes were discovered. They had strange shapes and fascinated everyone who saw them, but the question of how they were formed remained unanswered. There were many hypotheses, but none of them could explain how these holes were created. Research continued for many years, but the answer was never found. This mystery remains unsolved to this day. A team of American scientists discovered a strange hole in the ice the size of a football field. But when they began to investigate it, they found something amazing. The hole was completely empty, as if someone or something had removed everything inside. No traces of living creatures, no artifacts or debris, just smooth, icy walls. Of course, many began to speculate about what could have happened in this place. There were suggestions that there might be an artifact hidden here from ancient civilizations, or even that there could have been extraterrestrial involvement. But no one has been able to find an explanation for this mysterious hole in Antarctica. In 2012, a group of scientists made a remarkable discovery on the icy surface of Antarctica. It was a meteorite belonging to the category of Martian meteorites known as Allen Hills. It was named after the region in Australia where it was found in 1969. But what scientists found in Antarctica was extraordinary. This meteorite was not just rare, it was the oldest Martian meteorite ever found on Earth. Its age exceeded four billion years, making it older than most terrestrial rocks. Next, we will explore the singing ice shelf of Ross in Antarctica. This amazing natural phenomenon was named after the legendary Soviet geologist Valery Ross, who first described the natural phenomenon. This glacier emits a unique sound that can only be heard underwater. It produces sound waves resembling singing, caused by changes in pressure and water flow. Scientists believe that this sound may play an important role in the lives of marine animals. The next discovery tells us about microorganisms in Antarctica that feed on wood and oil. Scientists found them in deep ice pits. This remarkable finding is related to the fact that Antarctica is known for its extreme cold and the absence of trees and oil. However, these microorganisms were able to adapt to these conditions and use alternative food sources. Scientists claim that these microorganisms may hold the key to understanding how life can exist in the harsh conditions of Antarctica and may help in the development of more efficient energy production and environmental cleanup technologies. At the beginning of the video, we talked about small fish in the depths. Scientists discovered unusual transparent fish in these water bodies that had never been seen before. These fish have an extraordinary ability to survive without food for many years as they can utilize their own organs and tissues to survive. The scientific community was amazed by the research on these remarkable animals and their abilities. Do you think it's a myth or reality? Write your opinion in the comments. And now let's move on. Scientists and researchers have discovered something even more mysterious and captivating in Antarctica. Pyramids. Huge pyramids were found inside glaciers, attracting the attention of scientific communities around the world. Some scientists claim that these pyramids may be linked to ancient civilizations, possibly ancient cultures we don't even know about. 
Others believe that these pyramids may indicate that Antarctica was a living and evolving place in the past. A scientific expedition set out to explore the deep ocean and its inhabitants in Antarctica. None of the scientists could have imagined that they would encounter such unusual creatures. In the depths of the ocean, giant worms were found, measuring over two meters in length and about 15 centimeters in thickness. They lived in the soil, fed on organic matter, and had a unique mechanism for coping with cold and pressure. Scientists were amazed by the size of these creatures and conducted numerous studies to understand how they survive in the conditions of the Antarctic Ocean. It turned out that the worms have special proteins that protect their cells from freezing and help them survive in extreme conditions. This discovery was one of the most amazing and significant in the world of science. Shackleton's expedition was a great challenge for all of humanity, not only because it took place in the most difficult place on Earth. The ship, Endurance, sank in the ice of Antarctica, leaving Shackleton and his team with no chance of rescue. But Shackleton did not give up. He and his team continued their journey on foot, crossing icy mountains and glaciers, battling hunger, cold, and extreme conditions. They covered 1,126 kilometers to the nearest settlement to save their lives. This story speaks of incredible endurance, the spirit of overcoming, and true heroism. The discovery of the oldest spermatozoon on Earth. It was in Antarctica that scientists discovered the fossil of this miniature creature, which lived on Earth a whole 50 million years ago. Despite its small size, this spermatozoon has huge significance for science. Its discovery allowed scientists to study more deeply the evolution of living organisms on Earth and understand how the animal world has changed over millions of years. The next discovery is incomparable in size to the previous one. It occurred quite recently and is related to the largest recorded iceberg in Antarctica. Its area is more than 5,000 square kilometers, which is roughly equal to the area of Belgium. This huge ice mass broke off from the glacier in 2017 and began to float in the waters of the Southern Ocean. The discovery of this iceberg not only amazed scientists, but also raised serious concerns about climate change on the planet. Large icebergs in Antarctica can cause strong storms and tides, which in turn will lead to a deterioration of the climate and an increase in sea levels. And this is a fruit pie, which was discovered several meters deep under the ice. For me personally, this discovery was like a piece of history frozen in time. The team of scientists was amazed by this discovery. The pie was carefully packed in an aluminum container, which was hidden in the depths of the ice layer. No one knows how and when it got there. But scientists who conducted the analysis claim that the pie was baked more than a hundred years ago. That's the mystery that was revealed in Antarctica. But that wasn't all. The second discovery exceeded all expectations. A skeleton of an unknown animal, which scientists called the King of Antarctica, was found. The skeleton was so huge that no one could believe that such a creature ever existed on Earth. It was a huge beast with colossal tusks as big as a human rib. It raised many questions to which no one could give an answer. Moreover, it was found several meters deep under the ice, just like the fruit pie. Could they be related? Maybe it was an animal that went extinct thousands of years ago. We don't know. Here's how our episode turned out today. It was an hour of the most amazing findings from around the planet. If you liked the episode and you want to see something similar, then hit the like button, leave comments, and you can write the keyword rocket so I'll know you've watched till the very end. And a huge thank you to everyone for watching and see you in the new episode of Top Facts Black.